Good morning everyone. I am just getting ready for an event with Moroccan Oil. Which I'm very very excited about. I've actually been to another Moroccan Oil event. Oh my god. I don't even know how long ago that was. Sorry, my face is super puffy. I sometimes wake up so puffy, like my lips are puffy, my face is puffy. I should have done gouache on this morning. Um, but essentially, we're going to a meditation studio, which I'm really excited um, because we're gonna get to go into a sauna, we're gonna go into a light and dark room, a meditation room. And it's something that I haven't done in a while. I used to actually be very, very good at meditating. It's so good to just kind of calm your mind down. Um, but I haven't done it in a very, very long time. So I'm very excited to go to that event today. But knowing everything that we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep my makeup very minimal. In fact, I'm I'm probably not gonna wear any if very much makeup I'm probably just gonna do a little bit of concealer and mascara and call it a day I already did do my skincare and used my super goop SPF we had the funniest laugh because I went to Sephora and they didn't have any sort of like setting spray um, available like just nowhere and then I went on the Sephora app and the setting spray also wasn't available so I'm like oh my god did I just like dream this product I thought I was losing it um because I had seen it on TikTok there was a creator who shared it and I was like oh my god that's brilliant for women in summer long story short it is not available on Sephora but it is available on Super Goop so I will be placing an order to buy the setting spray and I'll actually link it below for you guys if you want to pick it up um as well I haven't tried it yet but um i mean i feel like you can't go wrong with it you're protecting your skin throughout the sun while keeping your makeup intact which i think is fantastic so i didn't dream this product i actually did see it and it does exist thank god um it's just not available on sephora um maybe it's available on sephora us but it's not available on sephora canada which i'm not surprised about whatsoever so yeah I'm just getting ready. I'm probably going to do a little bit of concealer, um, but my skin is looking honestly really, really healthy. So, um, yeah, I just want to look a little bit more awake, I think. Um, I'm also going to touch up my hair because I didn't fully straighten it, so there's some wavy pieces in and around there. I also want to chat about an event that I had yesterday. It was just a virtual event, but I went to an event with Purology. Um, and it was really nice learning about the brand because I had heard of the brand, but I hadn't really um, tried it or... Really, I didn't know anything about it, so I had no idea that it was actually a vegan brand, and I thought that was so fascinating um, learning that they are vegan, which I think is awesome. It was really nice learning about them, and um, throughout the way, they talked about all their products, and one of the products that we got to try out and learn about was this Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. Um, now, this is for color-treated hair. Now, of course, you guys know I do have color-treated hair, so this was the one that was sent to me and specific for my hair, but they have different ranges depending on your hair type. But this particular one is really, really cool because it kind of does everything you need in a spray. So it primes your hair, acts as a leave-in conditioner, it helps smooth hair, it primes your hair for styling, it also protects your hair, so it's going to help with split ends, prevent breakage. It also helps protect against heat damage. So that's the protection aspect of it. And then you have perfecting. So it's going to create silkiness. It's going to control frizz. It's going to add shine. I feel like this is a one and done product. And I actually sprayed it yesterday throughout the event. And oh my god, this has to be the best smelling product I have ever used in my life. It is so... It is so amazing. I'm going to put it on today before I leave, so I'll put it on with you guys. But it is honestly just phenomenal. I couldn't recommend it enough, to be honest. I haven't tried any of the shampoos, but I will be sure to let you know how I get on with those. But yeah, this is just, if you're looking for like a one and done hair product, you're going to protect your hair, you're going to prime your hair, you're going to finish it off, this is honestly it. But I will definitely update you as I use it. But I find with this type of product, I pretty much know how it's going to feel right away. So anyways, that's that. But I'm going to quickly finish up my makeup so I can get ready for this event. I also want to eat a little bit before I go so I'm not hungry and have a rumbly tummy at the event. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish watching my episode. I'm watching Suits. I'm actually re-watching Suits. I've ran out of um, shows to watch. Uh, I did finish the Ultimatum. I think I told you guys about that in my last video. And, oh wow, that's just so good. It's so juicy. Cameron and Madeline were just like, Mwah! so cute. So, 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 so cute. Um, but if you haven't watched The Ultimatum and you like, like, juicy shows, then that's probably a good show to watch. But, I don't know, leave me your show recommendations down below. I haven't, I feel like I'm stuck in the show department. I haven't actually had a show to watch in a while. 
So yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and get ready. <laughs> pretty much I kept my makeup like non-existent so I did a little bit of this um, Clay de Peau, um concealer and then I did my Laura Mercier mascara and then pretty much the only other thing that I did oh so Glossier as well so my boy brow and pretty much the only other thing I did was I added sorry it's kind of silly a tiny tiny bit of contour just like a powder on my cheeks that's about it I just kept it super super simple um, obviously it's gonna wash off if I'm going in a sauna so I didn't want anything that I was gonna be concerned about coming off so if all of this comes off I could care less <laughs> but right now I'm actually going to pick out my outfit for today I'm not sure what to bring to be honest because I'm going in a sauna so I'm not sure if to bring like shorts or I don't know so I'm just gonna bring a couple extra things but I'm probably just gonna wear like Lululemon pants and a top to go there and a nice little like um spring jacket I think I'm gonna go very sporty because we are going to meditation studio so yeah that's what I'm gonna wear I'm gonna go pick up my stuff and um continue watching suits while I do that <laughs> All right, I'm almost ready to head out. And I just figured, so I'll show you my outfit in a minute. I'm wearing all Lululemon. I will be bringing an extra sweater in case I get cold, but I'm just wearing long sleeve and then some pants. But for fragrance, now um, this is obviously important to me. I like wearing a fragrance every day, but I am very mindful that we'll be going to a meditation studio and I wouldn't want to bombard the room with some other fragrance. So what I'm actually gonna put on is my Sage Stress Release essential oil now this smells so beautiful it's a natural scent but it is quite smelly and i love it that i can smell it on myself so i'm actually going to put that on my wrist i'm just going to roll that on and kind of tap that in and just a little bit on my neck and then this one you're actually supposed to put a little bit on your chin so that is a nice kind of very natural scent that shouldn't bug anyone and it's natural as well so that's what i'm gonna um wear for my fragrance i'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on as well and i'm not gonna wear any rings except my two silver ones um because i just never take those off i'm just gonna move you over here so i can finish packing with you um so for the event, I'm gonna pack an extra pair of um, leggings in case I wanna switch out. I'm also bringing just a bra and um, shorts, just in case I wanna wear that for the sauna and then I can change out of it. So I'm just gonna pack that. I'm also bringing some hair clips to keep my hair out of my face. My phone, obviously, I'm not gonna pack it yet. My glasses. Also gonna bring a little towel just in case I want to wash my face And that should be good So yeah, I'm just gonna finish getting ready quickly and then I'll show you my outfits before I head out the door I think I'm gonna bring a I think I already mentioned this But I think I'm gonna bring an extra sweater in case I get cold that way I have something to keep me cozy So yeah, <laughs> this is what I am wearing today this is actually a brand new um, top from Lululemon that I got recently. I have to link it, but the material is so soft. And I mean, you can untuck it, and I think it's so cute. I also bought it in the black because I love it so much. But um, anyways, with that, I'm also wearing these Align joggers. I actually went into Lululemon recently, and I didn't see these joggers in store. So I'm not sure if they're available anymore. I will link them if they are for you, but these are some of my favorites. Super comfy and just, I think, really, really flattering. Um, on the body and then I unfortunately don't have my um, running shoes I actually left them at my parents house so I'm just wearing my um, Axel Regattas but I don't think we'll be doing anything athletic so um, it doesn't really matter I'm not too concerned but I'll show you what I'm wearing in terms of sweaters and coats before I leave and this is the final outfit this is actually a raincoat from Lululemon that I have had for a minimum of six years that's one of the things I love about Lululemon is that their items will last forever. So this is what I'm wearing. It's quite sporty. It's not my best outfit, I will admit. But you know what? I'm going to a meditation studio. So 
um, I'm not too concerned about how stylish I look for today. I don't know. So anyways, I'm comfy and I'm ready to go. All right, I'm just about to head into the event. I actually don't know where it is, so I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. I'm about to head into the sauna. It is the cutest room in here. I'll have to show you what it looks like when I leave. But um, yeah, oh my god, it's so cute in here. Now, boys, can I bring you in here? Oh my god, absolutely. Yeah, hi. hi. It's Jacqueline. I'm Jacqueline. Jacqueline. So we're gonna sauna. We're gonna sauna it also together. looks like a tropical vacation I know, like, here. I'm kind of obsessed. Like, I mean, it snowed yesterday, so I guess this is a good little like our escape, our escape into yeah. summer. Hopefully, warm weather. take a little walk in the sunshine and enjoy um, this beautiful day so I don't know just listening to good music and enjoying the walk because it's so beautiful and good days like this I just feel like I've been far and few in Toronto but yeah that's the plan I'm gonna head home and then get ready for the rest of the work day <laughs> I am home now from my event. I am dressed up. I got dressed and showered and did my makeup today. Um, I had such a wonderful, what is this hair here? Like, hello? Here we go. <laughs> hair is not cooperating today. But um, I got back from my event not too long ago and I just had such a wonderful time. Essentially the event was for Moroccan oil and I will show you what I got from the event in a minute. But it was um, about their new body collection. So there's shower gel, hand wash, body lotion, and we were just there to kind of try out the product and smell them. I mean, I love the Moroccan oil smell. Um, I feel like if you're a Moroccan oil user, you will know the smell. It's so, so wonderful. Um, but after we got to try out the products, we also had a wonderful experience. We got some hand and arm massages, which, oh my God, they were like phenomenal. And then because we were at home meditation studio, we also got to try out some of their meditation sessions. So we got one in the dark room and the light room. And now I have to say, after my experience there, I might be booking myself in for some meditation sessions in the dark room. It was so nice. It really just felt like a time where I could just stop thinking about everything and just focus on myself and really just disconnect from the world. It was so, so wonderful. I will link the studio in my description box in case some of you were looking for a meditation studio, but I really think that it might be something that I will look into to doing, I don't know, maybe once a week, maybe every other week, just when I need like a reset and just a moment to disconnect. It was so, so lovely and everyone there was so, so lovely. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what I got from the event. Um, and it's funny because I was sharing some things on my Instagram today and I had a couple of women message me regarding my favorite um, scents because they have different like scents that you can choose from. So I'll definitely tell you what my two favorite were, but 
for now this is the little goodie bag that I got to take home with me and the first thing in here is the shower gel and this one is in the um, scent amber noir now this is my favorite scent I think if I had to choose one from the range it would be amber noir because it's so beautiful it's almost like a a musky woody fragrance and you guys know I love my woody fragrances and this one is just so so lovely I, I'm actually really excited to use this one but it looks like this again the packaging is so beautiful and I just want to smell it let's see oh I love it it's such like a warm scent I just I think it's so beautiful so that's the first thing that I got from Moroccan oil then the next Two things are their body lotion and this one is in ambiance de plage so I want to say that this is the one that smells more like a beach because I know one of them smelled very beachy yeah it's this one it kind of just smells like sunscreen and coconut and the beach um, if you kind of really love that type of scent, then this is the fragrance for you. This is very nice for the summer. I don't know if I would use it in the winter, but for the summer, I feel like this is going to be a really, really nice thing to just kind of put on my hands if I want something to smell really beachy. Um, and then the next one is Bergamot Fresh. Fresh? Fresh? Um, this is the hand wash, and this is my second favorite scent. So this one obviously has got bergamot in it, um, but this one really reminded me of kind of like an essential oil fragrance. It's so, so fresh. If you shop at Sage, if you have their bergamot um, essential oil, it smells very, very similar to this. It smells so wonderful. I'm sorry, I just spilled some on the edge, so I'm smelling it. I love it. This is probably my next um, favorite scent because it's so, so beautiful. So those are my recommendations for the fragrances if you're looking to pick some up. I would um, either recommend the Amber Noir or the Bergamot Fresh. If you want something a little bit more fresher, go for the Bergamot one. If you want something a little woodier, a little bit muskier, then go for the Amber Noir. It's so, so lovely. Um, and if you're obsessed with the Moroccan oil scent, then I believe that they do have um, just the original scent. I actually have mine right here. This is the hair oil though. Um, but you can get this scent in the body products as well. I hope I'm not wrong in saying that, but I think you can. <laughs> Um, so anyways, that's what I got from the event. It was so, so nice and I'm very excited to try these out at home. So yeah, that was what I got at the event. It was so lovely. It's also, as always, it's so lovely to chat with other, um, creators that are in the area. But now I wanted to take a moment and talk a little bit about Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up. And I thought that this would be a great time to share with you some Mother's Day inspo. And, um, at least in my family, jewelry is always... Well, it's like the number one gift, I think. Um, and I thought I would share with you some new Missouri pieces that I think would be awesome Mother's Day gifts. I know so many of you love jewelry, and so I thought this would be the perfect chance to do so. And so with that, I do want to say that this is an integrated and paid for partnership with Missouri. You guys know the spiel. I love Missouri, and I'm very excited to show you these new pieces because I think they're going to be very, very beautiful. So I have some new pieces to show you, and then I'm also going to bring out some of my classic Missouri pieces. That could also be a wonderful Mother's Day gift, and hopefully there'll be something for everyone in your life. So let's start with some goodies. I got my new packages here. You guys know I love my dainty chains. And so I picked some out. I unfortunately wasn't able to get the earrings that I wanted to show you guys because they are not in stock until May. Um, but I will insert a picture of them here. These are the pearl ear jacket studs and I'm dying to get my hands on these because I just think they're so beautiful. Um, and so I just wanted to share them with you anyways, but I will be sure to show you them when I receive them. Uh, until then, I'll be wearing my little pearls. I think jewelry for Mother's Day is such a beautiful, meaningful gift. I mean, you can find anything and Missouri has so many wonderful options when it comes to jewelry whether you're someone who's really classic or really bold I think you'll be able to find something for just about everyone um, and on top of that Missouri does have a 60-day return policy which is fantastic in case something doesn't work out um, you also have a two-year warranty which I feel like doesn't get talked about enough but that's really fantastic to have that and the thing I love most especially for gift giving is that you do have free gift wrapping with your purchase and so I think it's just gonna make your process really easy just make your purchase and then um, and then you can just have it wrapped and ready to go to 
gift to your loved one. And with that, don't forget that you guys will also be able to save 10% off your order um, by shopping through my link, which I will leave in the description box for you. Um, but now I want to show you some pieces that I picked out because I think they're really, really beautiful, especially for Mother's Day. And so the first collection that I picked out is the Serpentine Chain Collection. Now, the moment I saw this, I fell in love with it. I think it's so beautiful and it's a beautiful, I think, kind of hybrid of two of my favorite collections at Missouri. And so this is the Serpentine um, Chain Necklace. So it's just a beautiful gold chain. And this one comes in two lengths. I got both so I could show you. And this is something that I would love doing. It's just kind of stacking them together to create a beautiful um, look. So. That's the first one there. I just think it reflects light so beautifully. So let me pull the other one out so I can show it to you. All right, and we got the shorter length here. So those are the two lengths. As you can see, there's a little bit of a difference on there. And I will put them on in a second to show you, but I just think they are so, so beautiful. And I mean, you could wear this on their own together. You can also add a little pendant. And of course, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't get the matching bracelet. So let me show you the matching bracelet. I think it's so beautifully dainty. I'm just so in love with it. So this is the matching bracelet. And you guys know I love all of my Missouri bracelets. I'm such a Missouri bracelet like junkie. But I think this is such a beautiful gift because again, it's so easy to wear. And it's a piece that is so classic and timeless that again, it's gonna be really, really easy to, to pair with just about anything. Um, so yeah, and now I know I already mentioned a little bit about my pearls. I love, love, love wearing pearls in the spring and summer. I think it's such a beautiful gift. I think pearls are so, so beautiful. And so the next thing that I picked out to go along with the serpentine chains um, is this beautiful little pearl charm. Um, and what I love about this is that you can pair it with any chain that you have. If you have one already at home, this is such a beautiful um, addition to kind of add onto it. So I'm gonna put these on so I can show you what they all look like. I've just put on the new pieces and oh, I'm so in love. So I'm gonna get closer. This is the new serpentine chain necklaces so that's a shorter length and the longer length and then i've also added the serpentine bracelet side by side to my um herringbone bracelet i thought that would be a beautiful kind of combination so those are all the pieces and i'm just so in love with it i think they're such beautiful pieces for summer the nice thing about having the different lengths is that you can kind of pick and choose um, and decide whether your person would want a shorter length or a longer length both are beautiful in my opinion. Um, my preference is to wear them together. I think it creates such a beautiful, beautiful look. But now I wanna actually add the little pendant um, to show you. Now, I haven't decided if I should put this on the shorter chain or the longer chain. I'm inclined to put it on the shorter chain. So let me do that and that way I can show you what it looks like. Oh, this looks so pretty. I'll get close so you can see it. So these are the pieces that I chose out. Um, and I think that these would make the most beautiful Mother's Day gift as well. I would personally pair these with my little pearls or any kind of pearl duo. Um, if you also just have like any little like gold studs, I feel like that would look beautiful as well. Um, but yeah. This is my selection for Mother's Day. And again, don't forget that you'll be able to get 10% off your order for Mother's Day. And with that, I also wanted to share some pieces that are gonna be a little bit more bold, but still classic and timeless. Um, in case you have a mom who is a little bit more bold and edgy. So the next collection that I want to chat about is the Herringbone Collection. Now, this has been a long time favorite of mine because it's just so beautiful. I cannot tell you how many compliments I get on the herringbone bracelet and truthfully, I have not taken it off since I got it. It's just so beautiful and it's honestly, it hasn't worn whatsoever. It still looks brand new. Um, it's just the quality is outstanding. And so the herringbone collection is another little great gift idea. If you're looking for something that's really, really minimal, but a little bit more edgier and kind of bolder than the serpentine chain, what's that call it? The serpent, 
serpent chain. I hope it's not. It's a serpentine chain. But yeah, this is another um, wonderful idea for Mother's Day if you're looking for some Mother's Day inspo. I really wanted to share those things because I know myself, I think gifting jewelry is probably my favorite thing to do. Um, and I know my mom has always loved her jewelry. She's always just been covered in beautiful jewelry pieces. And so yeah, I just thought I would share those ideas with you and um, hopefully you'll find something in here to a gift to your mom and loved ones. But anyways, I will have everything linked in the description box for you guys. That way you guys can easily access it. And don't forget that you'll be able to receive 10% off your order by shopping through my link. Yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm actually going to leave all these pieces on because I have been dying to show you them and wear them. And I just, I love them. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. But anyways, let me clean up my mess and then we can chat a little bit more. Oh, I thought I would sit down and catch up with you a little bit. I also have some pieces that I want to show you. I finally got my prints from Love, sort of. They arrived actually last week. I framed two out of the three of them. Two out of the three? Three out of the four. <laughs> and I really, really want to show you them because they look so beautiful. I also still need to show you what I got at the mall last weekend, which wasn't a whole lot, but there is a couple things for the apartment that I picked up and I'm very excited to show you. But the first exciting update um, is that I get my keys for my apartment next week. And it's really nice because I'm actually getting them four days before I actually have to move out of this apartment. So it's gonna be nice. It gives me some time to like move things kind of um, over a couple days. So I'm hoping that that transition will be a lot smoother than if I just had to do everything one day. So I'm really, really excited to move. I also have booked my moving bins. I'm gonna share with you this service. I thought that it was really um, brilliant what they do. So the company that I'm using is called Frog Box. And what they do is that you order um, however many boxes that you need. And these are reusable boxes, so you're not using like cardboard boxes, so better the environment. Um, you pretty much tell them how many bins you need. And you can also get extra things like trolleys and blankets and like sofa cover, mattress covers. And they just drop it off at your home. You pack up all your stuff. And once you're done with it, they come pick it up at your new place. And I think that it's so brilliant. You get the bins for a week. And if you need them more than a week, then you just pay like an extra fee for that. But I believe it was like 150 for the entire process. And I think that, and that's in Canadian. I think that is so, so brilliant to offer something like that. Um, for me, it just makes so much more sense. I don't have to like, worry about finding cardboard boxes or anything like that and like i said it's much better for the environment and everything is i think sanitized and ensured that it's super clean for your moving process so those bins are actually getting dropped off tomorrow um tomorrow afternoon because i do want to film like an apartment tour before all the bins arrive um but yeah i thought i would share that with you in case you guys are moving i think it's a really snazzy like business concept um, I'll link them in the description box for you guys. But yeah, that's the update in terms of moving. I'm going to start packing up, honestly, tomorrow night, which is like, oh, I'm going to start packing up very soon, which is just like crazy to think about. I, You know, you don't realize how much stuff you have and so you start like packing and you're like, oh, why do I have this much stuff? But um, yeah, that's the moving update. So next vlog, I feel like will be a moving vlog. I'm going to have so much content. I don't know. I don't know. Would you guys love like a longer, you know what, actually that's a good question. Would you guys prefer like longer vlogs showing more or two vlogs during the week but both a little bit shorter? Let me know um, because I feel like I'm going to have so much content these next few weeks that I just, I'm going to want to share it all with you guys. Okay, I can't stop looking at these necklaces because they're very pretty. Actually, before I start showing you what I got for the apartment and my prints and stuff, I did pick up one thing from... Sephora because I wasn't able to find my SPF sunscreen <laughs> but the one thing that I did pick up is this styling custard from the brand pattern now this is a female owned brand and I believe it's an African American owned brand as well which is so exciting I love supporting brands owned by women um, but something that I'm really kind of into this summer and we'll see we'll see if I stick with it but two vlogs back i wore my hair natural and touched up with my flat iron and looking back at that vlog i really loved how my hair looked and so i bought this because i am thinking to maybe start wearing my hair natural 
like a couple more times a week than I would normally. Why not try some natural hair days? With that, with that, I think I'm gonna go darker with my hair. Now it's hard to tell, especially when it's straightened because it already looks quite dark, but I think I'm gonna go even like one smidgen darker, closer to like my natural color. I don't know why I'm getting like the inkling of doing that usually during the summer I love to go nice and blonde because I'm super tan but I don't know I feel like embracing my my natural hair color I feel like it's gonna make me look so young but um, yeah that's the plan so that's what I got um, from Sephora I think if you're looking for like hair care products for curly hair I think this brand is super cool um, they're brand new in Sephora and um, I just had to try them out also I love their packaging I think it's so beautiful and it's like it's my color okay it's it's yellow um, but anyways I'm gonna go grab the stuff to show you and then I can um, then we can chat about that I apologize because this apartment is gonna start looking like an absolute mess since I will be moving soon but I'm just gonna warm up my coffee quickly and I didn't put any creamer in it this morning just because or not this morning whenever I made it because I've been trying to like step away from creamer but now I feel like a sweet coffee so I'm gonna add I'm gonna warm it up and add some creamer to it and I'm excited to share that I finally found a um, dairy free Starbucks creamer so this is the caramel macchiato almond and oat non-dairy coffee enhancer so that's what I've actually been using recently and it's really really good it tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato which is so exciting <laughs> I'm also gonna have a little um, Amaretti almond biscuit from Nespresso these are my absolute favorites I just love them so much <laughs> all right I'm just gonna have my coffee quickly and my little this body and then I can grab everything that I need to show you. All right, coffee break over. I'm gonna go grab a couple things to show you. So first thing I wanna show you is what I got at the mall last weekend. Now it's the first and last, but <laughs> we got like one thing. Um, but you guys know I love my cocktails and drinks and I wanted some really, really nice um, highball glasses. Um, so I have these from Rydell. So these are like beautiful, like whiskey sour, old fashioned glasses. And I essentially wanted the matching set of these, um, but in a highball glass. And so while I was shopping at the Bay, I saw that they had these um, Rydell highball glasses. And I love Rydell, I think it's such a fantastic brand. Such high quality, and honestly the price is pretty good. Especially if you can find them on sale. I had seen these two weeks ago at a little cocktail store that we went to and they were regular price and then we went to the bay and they were 20% off. So I got them both each 20% off, which is fantastic. So this is what they look like and they're just beautiful little highball glasses. The quality is beautiful and you can have your gin and tonics in here or your Tom Collins, um, any sort of drink that goes in there. I guess you could have a mojito in here too. Um, but I just thought they're so beautiful and again, super, super minimal at the same time. So I got two sets of two because um, I wanted a nice set of four. So I got two of those, two of those. And um, yeah, I think it came to like, $70 for four glasses, which is pretty fantastic. So I think it would have been well over $90 regular price. So that sale definitely came came in handy. Um, but now for the good stuff, I got my delivery from Love, sort of. And so I wanted to kind of show you um, the pieces that came in. And I have, like I said, framed almost all of them, but I left one unframed so I could show you um, what it looks like not in a frame so when they all came and by the way i know i mentioned in the vlog that i ordered them in that it was going to take like almost two three weeks two and a half weeks and they came in a week which is phenomenal i was actually surprised i didn't know what i had gotten in the mail that day i was like oh it's weird like I, I didn't order anything completely not expecting to receive these items and they came so i'll show you the one that is not framed this is my little ballerina and I am so impressed with the quality. It just feels really, really great quality. 
and again all the details are so so beautiful this is what it kind of came looking like um really really beautiful and so now i want to show you the framed one so the first one that i framed is my beautiful lady reading so i put it in the black frame i just think it's so beautiful now my only complaint with these ikea frames is that they are very reflective as you can see like it's already super reflective and i don't know if i love that um but anyways i love the paintings and they're so so beautiful if you're looking for really beautiful prints that are gonna feel like really really high quality then love sort of is just fantastic um yeah so that's the first one the second one which is probably my favorite um i believe this is lady awaiting but oh isn't she beautiful i think she's gorgeous um and again i put her in the big black frame um i just thought it really complemented um the painting oh so beautiful rather sorry print not painting um and then the last one which is also probably my favorite i don't know they're all my favorite this is my beautiful landscape um so as you can see i picked the gold frame to go with this one and i think i mentioned that already but i just think that the colors the warm colors in here go so beautifully with the gold frame um just i'm so in love i think it's i'm just so excited to put these up on my wall in my new apartment um but for now i actually have them um in my living room so i'm gonna go put them back in a second with you but I'm just so happy with them. I think they look so beautiful and um, I think I'll definitely be buying more prints if I need to fill my new apartment with more artwork because it just I've just realized and just come to the conclusion that I love art and I love looking at it. It really, really just brings me so much joy. But anyways, I want to put these back to where they are right now because I think they've added a really nice touch to my living room. Site, um, for me but I figured I need to start showing you all aspects of my life and um, right now it is 8 15 and I have been up since about 6 30 editing a video and um, this is a part of my life that you don't usually see so yeah I'm just picking up music right now for the haul and I mean music is so important so that's oftentimes the part that takes the longest well actually the editing takes the longest but picking the music takes a lot longer than you think um but I'm just making some hard boiled eggs because I'm quite hungry and yeah I'm as soon as I'm done this I'll get ready and film some more content um because I feel like I've been neglecting my Instagram I've just been so busy trying to get like YouTube um kind of up and going again consistently and I feel like I don't know as much as i do have an editor there are certain things that i still like to do myself and i think my hauls are so personal to me that i still do those and will probably keep doing those until i don't know i maybe can't but um yeah i just thought i would show you little aspects here let me show you what my morning situation looks like so this is what my current situation looks like we're editing um and then i've got my music selection i'm trying to choose a song but i don't know yet <laughs> and then panning over i'm littered in technology it's got my hard drive my airpods my ipad which i was watching suits on figured i would show you kind of more the reality side of content creating it is oftentimes um very early mornings and very late nights because things need to get done and the internet never stops so yeah i figured hey this is a realistic um view of my work um at the same time today's gonna be a very very long day and i'm gonna end the vlog here soon but um i have a lot on my plate today i'm finishing this video and then i'm filming a ton of content um as soon as i'm done that and then i am expecting my boxes to arrive for my move and then I will be starting to pack and then I also do have a meeting with my professor I unfortunately had to ask for an extension on my two final um, projects and it's really interesting because um, you know I just said like I was very vague about it I was like you know I've had a lot going on in my life um, in my like personal life and by that I just mean like 
April has been a very busy month. You know, I've been prepping to move. There's been work, there's been events, there's been just everything, right? And um, I just can't, like, I'm dreading having to get on this call with him. I don't know how he's gonna take me explaining to him. Like, I'm a content creator, you know, I have an employee. I'm trying to move houses because I live on my own. Like, I have a job to maintain, I have to pay bills. Like, it's tax season, like, I just, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna kind of understand all of that. So, um, I'm not just a student, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of dreading that conversation, to be honest, and I'm just, ugh. I'm kind of wishing I would have just gone through the university, because through the university, you can just request for them to essentially get your professors to get you an extension um, if you have been unable to complete certain things. And I mean, I've been really well up until this last project and I just feel like I need like a little bit more time just so I can do it well and not do it like poorly so I don't know I'm just kind of dreading that conversation today but I guess I'll update you on it um in next vlog but um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here that way I can start a brand new one while I get ready this morning anyways I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I will catch up with you in my next video bye Mwah.